Higgs boson is asking, why couldn't Iran have proper have a proper constitutional republic in the early 1900s? Why did the Pahlavis prefer to have a monarchy? Um, this is a very good critique because like a lot of people say that the, pa the Pahlavis betrayed what the Iranian people wanted because the Iranian people have showed that through the angle of a which is a constitutional revolution, that they wanted democracy. They wanted the rule by the people, right? Um, and every king during the Qajar dynasty basically uh, stood against that, you know, like they gave it to the people, but then they take, took it away from the people. But when the Qajar dynasty died away and the Pahlavis came into power, instead of giving that to the people, uh, they just became full on monarchy without like giving much mm -hmm. power to the like it was a betrayal like what, what you could say to the Pahlavi is like Pahlavis were ahead of their time uh when it comes to education women's education technology trade with the world good relationship with other countries uh building infrastructure they were really really good right like they re they built iran and in, in such a way that even today people are getting the benefits from what the pahlavis did so economically and infrastructure wise and education wise the pahlavi dynasty in iran was a good dynasty but when it comes to mm, you know political um reform they they actually went backwards right like they basically became a it was a dictatorship like they took the power they didn't give much power to the people right um but some people defend them by saying like this is what iran need that, needed at the time they say some people are saying like people were too stupid to be to have democracy at that time like you needed and some people say some countries in the middle east need like a good dictator instead of ruled by the people i'm not saying that this is what other people say this is like yeah like, i've heard that before no it's people like look the people of iran chose and they chose the Islamic Republic, like they did the, the revolution. They're saying like the Pahlavi dynasty was better than what the Iranian people deserve because the Iranian people were like they say, I am not saying this, were too stupid to deserve such a good dynasty. That maybe the Islamic Republic is what they deserve because their 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 minds are at that level. Again, I'm not saying this. Oh guess, my god. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just saying some people saying uh, some people say like the people of Iran were uneducated at that point. Um mm. and and they were religious very and you know and if they had if they were choosing they wouldn't have chosen right but the pahlavi dynasty was better than what the people have would have chosen and reza shah knew what iran needed and he just forced it upon iran again not my words this is what people who defend the pahlavi say <laughs> oh my god yeah i mean like yeah like, yeah they say like with the choice with the choice of the people result in this like look Reza Pahlavi opened the door to the west brought western education to Iran brought western technology to Iran but the Iranian people wouldn't have chosen maybe wouldn't have chosen that if it was there if if you gave the power to the uneducated uh, masses this is not what they would have chosen uh, so maybe it's good that it wasn't a democracy but yeah anyways I love a good just bald-faced argument for just yeah technocratism <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's go to that's a big question from geisha american okay so this is a quick question higgs boson is asking did you see people in pakistan attacking samsung boards over qr code blasphemy and recording it on galaxy phones and samsung had to issue an apology why are people willing to destroy their own country over something so benign we are actually what? going to be talking about this on the news this week so make sure yeah armin it yeah, it happened. Okay. Um, okay. So, so let's not let's not spoil it. Okay, guys, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Susanna is going to tell us the story uh, three days from now, right? On our news. Mm -hmm. Three in three days, we'll do the news and we'll talk about this. Mm. So, okay, let's move to a question from Gaijin American, um, saying thoughts on atheist churches and how atheists can build community slash third space that or occupy or third build community slash a third space that religion once occupied so um i know that there is some organizations that have um like oh, what's it called 
it's like secular Sundays or something like where you'd come together every Sunday and just hang out as a secular community. And that's really nice. Um, it's oftentimes very difficult to organize secular community because a lot of people who leave religion are just like, okay, so I just go spend my own time how I want. I don't have to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't know. I, especially with it being a physical structure, I don't, honestly know how pragmatic or useful that is like just make it into a general community space why does it have to be an atheist church like at that point it just becomes like a space for any community that's just secular um like a local gym you know have does an alcoholics anonymous one hour and next time they're doing basketball you know like that kind of thing like yeah i don't know i I think it's very interesting to think about what we should do with all these churches that are becoming abandoned across the nation overwhelmingly quickly. Um, but yeah, just tur turn them into general community spaces. Um, I used to be against it. I used to be like, I used to do the thing that I don't like it, therefore it's not good. Right. <laughs> and I think like we should like try not to do that. Um, because I feel like, okay, like, you know, you could ch turn churches into bars or museums or libraries, or I don't know, housing for the poor and stuff. And also atheists with the whole point of atheists, this might be before the whole point of atheist activism is to people are able to create communities in other ways. Like you could join, like, this is like, we're telling people you don't need churches to create communities. Okay. Um, com we do need community, but re religious religions kind of pretend like they have the solutions to your needs and they have a monopoly over it. Uh, they tell you that you need charity, you need community, you need a sense of belonging. I mean, like, yes, you need all of the, uh, those things, but there are better ways to uh, to get these needs. Religion comes with a, pretends that this is a way to satisfy these desires, but it comes with a baggage, it comes with a harmful uh, part associated with it. And I thought like, when we get rid of these things, there's not like people are like, oh, there's a gap. There's a gap that religion fills. But all of these, there's already like you could join chess club. You could join a hiking club. You could like, I don't know, do a study group. You could do a knitting club. There's so many different ways to build communities. And there, and the beautiful thing about all these communities is that it's tailored exactly to you. All right. Like we don't have humans are not like each other. Like you can't be like, here's a solution to all of you. Like we all have different personalities and the way that we want to find significance or community or sense of belonging or a sense of awe, all of these things that religion keeps, keeps pretending like it's the only way that it, you could satisfy them. The way that we, the, the road that we have to each one of these uh, desires for it could be different between you and me. Right. So it, it makes sense for us to have many different solutions. Right. And, but um but and also i thought like if well some people might feel that they grew up in a religious environment and they want something similar right and i always thought like well you can still go to church the pro or still go to a synagogue or still go to a mosque right as an atheist i don't have any problem with people continuing the tradition the problem with religion is not the tradition the problem with religion is the belief if you don't have the belief and you still like to go to church, go to the goddamn church. Why would you? Why would I just you thought about doing that and immediately got like triggered. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but but that like, but so then, terrible. but also like I, I want us to I, one one good thing about like for some people, one good thing about atheism is not having restrictions. OK, I mean, if you want to have an what you call an atheist church, if it's not for me, if it's not for Susie, it's clearly for some people. Some people seem to want it. Okay, so why not? Why not just let them have it, right? Like, why is it that if I don't like something and Susie doesn't like something, or like a uh, Gaijin American or Higgs boson doesn't like something in the live chat, why can't like the people who want to have something called an atheist church, like, you know, we're not religious. We don't have to tell them like, no, you don't get to have that. Let them have that. Like it's obviously serving some people's needs because they're making it. So let them like, let them do what they want. Like loosen up a little bit. Like, yeah, let, yeah, like yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. speaking no, I'm not from talking like, to you. Organ not or from an organizational perspective, like I don't think it's the most pragmatic. Like I don't think brick and mortar institutions serve a lot of purpose most of the time nowadays, but. Don't make a lot of it. Make enough of it that like there, if there are, if there is a <laughs> demand for it, right? Like, okay, don't make a hundred. 
But if there is enough people that want it, then make one or two for those people. Like, I mean, why not? Yeah, like, guys, don't... yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.